Good morning, guys. It is 7 o'clock. I was up, left the house just after 6, and I drove out to the fishing pond, the swimming pond that I grew up at, and we are going to try magnet fishing this sucker. Kids have been coming here for, I don't know, 60 years swimming, and then just on the other side of the walkway here is the river, which kids used as a swimming hole before they had this to swim in. So maybe we can find something good here. And if we don't, we're gonna swing the detector for a little bit, but mainly to find worms so we can throw a line in and see if we can catch a nice speckled trout for lunch. I can't believe I've made it down here five or six times already this summer and I've never brought a fishing rod. When I was a kid, literally thousands of hours a summer were spent with a rod in hand down this river catching specks, so I, I must be getting old. I don't know, I'm slipping, guys. Yeah. Some kid left his hooks down here. I didn't even need the magnet. Score! I wasn't joking. I'll take every one of them. <laughs> Can always use a good fishing hook. Well guys, the magnet fishing has not been kind to me. I spent another half an hour here at the swimming hole and I didn't get anything. Not a hook, not a sinker, nothing. So I haven't had much luck since I put that plastic on there. Maybe I'll have to take that off, I don't know. So that stupid broken window is still causing me havoc. I just grabbed the fishing rod out of the back of the car and I got a piece of glass in the finger. That'd be about the third time that's happened and I've vacuumed that thing out twice now. Another surface find. Nice little Mastercraft pair of scissors. I'll throw that in the fishing pouch as well. I just wasted half an hour looking for worms, but because we've hit summer months now, it's really dry, really warm. I wasn't finding anything until I hit this one spot. The cooler at the Redbridge store had a nice uh, pile of bait, so. <laughs> I'm not too proud to admit it, guys. Uh, we want to catch some trout. It's going to be in the morning here before it gets too hot, so I had to go buy some worms. Cost me four bucks a dozen, jeez. <laughs> Ooh, got one. Look at that, guys. <laughs> that didn't take too long. I know I brag about this river, but uh, right full of speckled trout. Beauty. I'm actually going to keep that for lunch today because I... Uh, I just had a, a hankering to come down here and catch lunch and uh, I haven't had trout in quite a while so I'm going to keep that guy. I just want to show you guys what a beautiful, beautiful fish these are. These are uh, brook trout or speckled trout we call them. And uh, this one here I believe is a male. Beautiful fish. Uh, pan fish, excellent just to throw in the uh, fry pan and uh, fry up. And you can use a little bit of garlic butter or onion or just eat them plain. They're, they're excellent tasting. They're a salmonoid fish, so very pink meat. There's still one swirling out there, right at the end of that tree. And apparently right here too. <laughs> yeah. Very cold water. That's where you're going to catch the speckled trout. And I just took a little walk through to get out here and uh, it's as cold as I remember. <laughs> All right, so we've got the monopod set up right in the middle of the river. I hope this doesn't fall over. <laughs> because that camera is not waterproof. Nice one just jumped down there. Here's another one guys. I could keep that guy for lunch. 
to go with the first one I got, but we're going to let him go because there's a whole school of them down there. I, I can see them jumping, so we'll let this one go. Uh, the other camera is dead. I don't know what's going on there. I just charged the battery, so... I think we're going to call the uh, fishing adventure. I can see some nice ones jumping down there. And guys, it's it's back in my blood. I could just go all day now. I got a dozen worms and you know, if I didn't have to be home in a couple hours, even then, even then it's hard to stop. I would just go all day just to be on the river. I love it so much. So I'm just on the uh, trail here that goes along the river's edge. The river is probably 30 yards over to my right. But these trails have been here for a hundred years and uh, my brother and I growing up here we could go off and explore you know miles down this river catch trout have the most amazing days learn to explore trust our sense of direction learn the bush and it was all thanks to having these trails in this river here that uh, we never worried about getting lost and then quite often we would push the limits and stay out until dark and then sometimes you know we'd know oh there's a road a mile up through the bush here and we'd break off and away we'd go and if we got lost or scared and couldn't find the road we knew where the river was and we'd always turn around and go back to the river so it was the perfect way to become bushmen as kids to learn the bush and feel safe and not worry about the bush actually using my new scissors guys I've gutted and uh, took the head off my fish and I'm going to leave all of that stuff here so you don't take the nutrients away from the river and uh, there are raccoon tracks all along the edge here so no doubt they will get it or something else will get it and uh, that's the first thing they teach you in ecology is uh, you know all these salmon rivers out west the bears and everything that are taking the fish um, they leave the nutrients right there they eat the fish right there just wanted to show you guys the beautiful orange meat it's just like a salmon these little trout and uh, this was a male i was right so we're going to take him home and fry him up So the pan is good and hot and drop them in. When he starts curling up like that, you know he's almost ready. There we go, that's nice. You know it's cooked when the meat comes right off the bones. It's when you can just pull it right off. Like that. And all the bones stay behind and the meat comes off, it's ready. Mmm. Spectacular speckled trout. Good stuff. I've never been able to decide what's better, guys. To tell your wife that you're putting worms in the fridge and get yelled at immediately. Or just wait for her to find it and say what's in this container and open it and then really get yelled at.